today I'll be showing you how to use this scrubby yarn to make some dish scrubbies and these can be made in any size you want. I decided to make mine about three inches wide. First you're going to get your yarn and make sure you make a slip knot where the tail of the yarn is going to stay in the circle so that you can pull on that tail and it'll make the circle smaller. So I'll show you how right now. So for this first part, you're going to pull up a loop and then you'll be chaining two. And this will be your very first double crochet. And then you'll be doing 12 double crochets into this circle, that, this magic loop that you made. After that, you will be doing, like I said, your 12 double crochets into that magic loop. And once you get close to the end, you can go ahead and count to make sure you have those 12 double crochets and then pull that string so that you can do your slip stitch into the very first two chains that you made. And for row two to start off, you're going to do two chains, which counts as your first double crochet. And then you'll be doing two double crochets into every stitch in this row so that you should have 24 double crochets at the end of the row since you started with 12. So you should be doubling your double crochets in the second row. And we're reaching the end of row two now. So I'll have two more double crochets left in this last stitch. I'm just counting to make sure. And then once we finish those two double crochets, we'll also be doing a slip stitch into those first two chains that we did for the row. And we can start on to row three. And just like before, for row three, we're going to chain two and do a double crochet into that first stitch. For the next stitch, we will be doing just one double crochet. And then the next stitch, we'll be doing two double crochets. So you'll be alternating putting one double crochet in one stitch and then two in the next stitch. So I'm reaching the end of row three here and I'll just be doing, just like the other rows, a slip stitch into those first two chains that we did for row three. And then we'll be doing our last row, which is row four. Um, same concept we'll just be continuing on. So chain two and then double crochet into that first chain. For this row, we'll be doing one double crochet into the next stitch, another double crochet into the following stitch, and then two double crochets into the following stitch. So it'll be a pattern of two double crochets in one stitch, and then one in the next, one in the next, and then two in the next. And we'll continue that pattern until we get to the end of this row. And now we're reaching the end of our row four, which is our last row for this half of the scrubby. So it should look about this size. And then for this side, we can go ahead and cut off the yarn and tie it off. And we can move on to doing the other side, which will be the exact same. So now that we have the other one, we will be putting these together. Make sure the front sides are facing outward. And then you'll be slip stitching the edges together. So I'm just lining them up. And you can really start at any point on these and then you can just start slip stitching the edges together.
So now I'm getting to about the size um, that I want for the scrubby. I do like to leave mine open and I think I'm about to that size. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off. And then I'll go ahead and tie off the end. So now I'm just gonna flip it over and make sure that all these loose ends are tied off so that the scrubby doesn't come apart. And pretty much once you're done tying off all the ends and cutting off all the excess of the thread that you have, um, you're pretty much done with the project. You can go ahead and flip it back over. And for this um, ball of yarn, I think I've made six of these so far, and I could probably get another four out of this ball of yarn. So if you're looking to make these for craft fairs or just for family and friends, these are really nice. They're really easy. Also takes under 30 minutes to make each of these. So this is what the end product should look like. And I hope you enjoy making some of these on your own.